Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video I'm doing my update on my roulette pan collab challenge. My roulette project pan collab. Um, this is going to, for me, be an update, but if you do keep up to date on anyone's videos, they will be posting their finales. But I have decided that I want to keep the ball rolling because I've been enjoying this project so much. It has really helped me grab out and focus on some products in my collection that I normally wouldn't try and pan or that I normally wouldn't try and put in a project pan just because of it being such a daunting task. So I'm going to keep the ball rolling and I really want to try and mark off all the hundred prompts on my list and I think if I take the break like everyone else is doing this year I don't think I'll get to fit completing all of the 100 prompts but without further ado let's get on to the updates and the whole reason why you are here to watch this update so the first product that I have to update you on is number two it is a product that reminds you of your favorite season my favorite season is springtime and for that one I picked out the Mary Kay paint the sky body mist now my aim for this one was to use up half of it and I think I'm about a quarter of the way through it so I think I might try and get down to maybe um, the bottom of this thick logo here I'll show you up close. I think I'm going to try and get down to here. Um, and then after I get to there, I will call this like a success when it comes to this project. But I'm, I'm making pretty good progress. If I like up the ante a little bit, I think I could easily get to that bit on the bottle in the next month. So we'll see how we go. The next one was number 11 and it is a product that a YouTube friend is currently panning. And for that, I chose an hourglass powder because Alejandra Lissetti was uh, panning a hourglass powder. I don't know if she's still panning. I think she may have completely finished it which is what I'm trying to do. Um, but I picked out my Hourglass Ambient Lighting uh, Palette and I chose to go with the color in the middle, which I believe is Incandescent Light, this one here. But um, I have rolled this in to go with my Tarte Shape Tape, which I really don't like. It is, it looks like a crusty mess under my eyes, but when I pair it with this, I feel like it does look more bearable for me but i go through stages with the tart shape tape like i have really good makeup days with it and i have really really bad makeup days with it like some days it just looks like a crusty ass mess under my eyes by the end of the day if you guys have a concealer that you have mixed with the tart shape tape that has made it look less crusty under your eyes and you've been able to use it up please let me know down in the comments box because i would love to hear your opinion on ways that you made the tart shape tape work so far this is the way that i have found that makes it work like i said at the intro i'm just going to keep this one in this project until i finish my tart shape tape and i hope in that time that i will hit pan on this one and considering most people have said that their tart shape tape look, took them like over eight months to pan i think that getting pan on this one is a very real possibility but i have also been using this color here which i believe is radiant light it's a darker color here and for most people it probably turns out to be like a setting powder for them or a highlighter but for me because I am hella pale I have been using this as a bronzer I'm actually wearing it as a bronzer today over my liquid mini NARS Laguna bronzer I have been loving how this looks as a bronzer on my skin tone I think just because it does have that like that slight bronzy color, but it also has that radiance to it. You can barely see it, which is what I like in my bronzer. I don't like my bronzers to be super duper pigmented because I am so pale. I like to build up my bronzer. These two powders are what I am working on at the moment in this palette. I've been enjoying this bronzer so much that I have completely neglected my ABH contour kit uh, these past few months because... Um, that palette just does not give me the effect that this powder does. So I would like to, like I said, I'm going to continue to use this palette and I would like to hit pan in maybe both of these. That would be really cool because these are baked powders. The pan on this one has really started to flatten out. And when I look at this on the side, 
compared to the one down the end here which is dim light and I've barely used that one it has um, dropped in size quite considerably and then the incandescent light right in the middle it is actually starting to dip down so really happy with the progress that I'm making on this palette moving on to the next one it was number 15 a product with a food or drink in the name and for that I chose the Too Faced Melted Matte long wear liquid lipstick in hot buttered rum my goal was to use this a total of 10 times and i did finally manage to use this 10 times this month um, i reached that goal of 10 times so i am going to roll this one out this month i'm really glad that i got some good use out of this this is one of my favorite colors in the Too faced melted matte range and I absolutely love the smell of it. And then moving down, number 31 was a product you got for free, whether a sample or given to you from a friend. And for that one, I chose the Hey Bud Australian Hemp Clay Mask. This was one that the team from Hey Bud sent through to me in PR. So I wanted to use this one up completely. I did manage to get this one done completely. So this is another rollout for me this month really really happy with my progress on this one and i do actually quite like that clay mask i find it really i find it not overly stripping on the skin like some clay masks can be on the skin the next one is number 92 a liquid or cream product and for that i was super duper ambitious and i picked out the becca beach tint in watermelon moonstone I wanted to use this one 50 times. I've only used this one twice so far. So I still have a very long way to go on this product. Uh, I think maybe 50 times is a little bit ambitious, but I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with the goal. It may be the fact that this takes me a very long time to get to 50, but if that's the case, then so be it. So I'm going to keep this one in as well. And then the last one is number 97, and it is a product with packaging that inspires you. And for that, I chose the Bare Minerals Aurora Lights palette. And for this one, I wanted to hit pan on four of the matte shades. And so far, I have managed to hit pan on three of the four matte shades that I have been focusing on. I am so impressed with my progress on this palette this past month. I've only been using this for a month so far, but the pans in this palette are quite small, but they are, for a small eyeshadow, I will say they are quite deep, but I managed to hit pan on the third shade today, and then I still have one more, and the one that's left still has a fairly decent amount of progress, or a fairly decent amount to go on it, so I don't know whether I'll reach uh, pan by the next update on the last mat that I'm focusing on but I we will see uh, we will definitely see I've hit pan on the color this one here 500 thread count delightful this one here and Venus ever so wait <laughs> Venus you can see that ever so slightly there and then I still this color here wavelength I still haven't hit pan on so I've hit pan on Venus delightful and 500 thread count very happy with how i've gone on this one i was considering rolling this one out but i think that i really want to try and stick to the goals that i make in this project and not like you know cheat the system a little bit so i'm going to keep this one in and hopefully i can hit pan on the color wavelength in this next month i have two products that i'm rolling out of this project so now i need to pick out another two prompts to grab out some new products in my collection to take their place okay so first one is 35 and the next one is 51 okay so number 35 is a product that everyone hates but you love and number 51 is a product where you have multiples of the same type or color in your collection so i'm going to jump off go grab those products out of my collection and then i will be back in a moment to show you what i have picked out Alrighty, so i've gone fishing through my collection to find two products that meet the two new prompts so the first one was a product that everyone hates but you love and for that i went with this lipstick right here this is the mary Kay uh, lip suede in rose blush now i chose this one because mary Kay is like an mlm i know heaps of people don't like mlms and don't buy products from mlms just because the fact that they are mlm but i quite like a lot of the mary Kay products so 
and that's why I picked this one out. Um, but I will say I totally understand why a lot of people are very anti MLM. This one is barely used. I've used it a little bit. I think I would really like to get this one completely done, but I think I'm going to try and gauge it over this next month and see how much mu see how much progress I make. If I don't make that much progress, maybe I'll try and aim for using half of this bullet. It is quite a large amount of lipstick left. So we'll see how we go over the next month and I will let you know my goal next month. But I, like I said, ideally I would like to use this up completely. But if that's looking like an unrealistic goal for this year, then I might try and, I don't know, get halfway through or three quarters of the way through, something like that. So I will keep you posted on this one and I will update my goal on this one at my next up. So there's that one. And then the next one is number 51, a product where you have multiples of the same type or color in your collection. So for that, I chose this Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal. I chose this out because I have a lot of highlighters in my collection in this like color or this type of color. And I also have multiples of these um, Shimmering Skin Perfectors by Becca in my collection. So I thought that I would grab one out. My aim for this product is to hit pan. So we'll see how long it takes me to get through this. I used up a mini size of the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. And it took me, I think, two months to get through the entire mini. And it, I think it was about like, it was about like that big. So we'll see how we go. So those are my two new products that I'm rolling in. Um, I still have a fair way to go on a couple of my products. Hopefully I can do another rollover next month. I do love like this project and um, like rolling through products because this project is making me grab out products out of my collection that I wouldn't normally put in project pans. So I do like seeing new stuff coming into my collection. I think it's really fun. Um, anyway, that's it for this roulette collab update for me. Um, let me know down in the comments box whether I have inspired you to grab out some products in your collection that you wouldn't normally try and pan or work on or anything like that. I challenge you to give yourself a usage goal of say 20 or 50 uses if you want to really challenge yourself and let me know how you go with that. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy these project pan updates, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new around here and you haven't already, I hope you would consider subscribing down below. And that's it for this video, my beauties. I hope you are staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself because it is really important and I will see you in the next video. Bye.